What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to take you through an entire day of eating. So for some background right now, I currently am not playing in a fully professional league. I'm still being paid to play soccer. The last two years I've played in the USL, which is in the second division of the US, and I was a fully professional player there in a fully professional league. Uh, suffered an injury, so that's why I'm over here in New Zealand right now. So take the title with a grain of salt, but right now I'm not currently playing in a fully professional league. But I, st I still know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let's go over my breakfast. I have a game tomorrow, so I'm going to do a quick little training session at the field right now. Just get some touches in, maybe a little bit of shooting really quick, 30 minutes, nothing crazy. But I want to do a little pre-training snack right now. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, and the very first meal of the day, what I'm going to do is just have two pieces of like whole grain bread with like soy, linseed, nuts, and some other stuff in there. Um, with a banana and peanut butter on it as well as an orange. So this is my first meal, this is my pre-training meal and I like it just because I mean it has a lot of carbs, tons of carbs which gives you energy and it also has some pretty good fats from the peanut butter as well as some protein. So just have that real quick and then we'll head off and get a nice little session in. If you are into calories and the protein, carbs and fats, like tracking your macros and stuff, I'll put all, everything on the screen right now, but pretty much this is kind of rough estimations. I'm not in a period of my life where I'm really tracking all that stuff. I'm just trying to be in a maintenance phase in season, trying to get around 3,500 calories every single day, but some days I might just get around 3,000, some days I might push up to the 4,000 range. So again, that's like kind of the general plan. So the plan for today is to do a quick warm up, five to 10 minute warm up, five to 10 minutes of juggling, and then five to 10 minutes of just shooting slash kind of crossing, striking the ball, and that's it. Nothing crazy physical, nothing crazy like cardiovascular because I do have a game in 24 hours. So just enough to get like my body feeling good and like a couple touches in, I like doing this. It just, I don't know if it's mental or actually is physical, but I love doing this right before a game. It just really makes me feel more sharp come game time. So start the warm up. <laughs> Hold up, before we progress any further, I wanna give a big thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is a ticket search engine that makes finding tickets to sports games or live events really easy. It has some amazing deals and even has a deal score system that rates the price of these deals on a scale from zero to 100. You get awesome maps of the stadiums and venues to see where you'll be able to sit, and it just makes the whole process a lot easier. Anyway, you guys can all get $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase to any event with the code ELITE. That's the code ELITE for $20 off. Click the link in the description to download the app. Once again, big thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get back to the training session and then watch me shove my face full of more food.
So on the way back from training, we stopped and got some coffee. I just got like a small flat white, which if you're an American, you, we don't really we don't really have flat whites, huh, Mimi? We still do. I've never seen one. Starbucks does. Well, I usually get a cappuccino, but it's pretty much like a cappuccino. So I got that, and then now I'm just making like my post-workout meal. I'm just doing like egg scramble with some fruit. Um, in my egg scramble, I'm gonna do five white mushrooms, half of a green bell pepper, half of a white onion, and then on the side I'll have two kiwis and an orange. And then in the actual scramble itself, I'm gonna have four free-range eggs for all of you guys that like animals. I like animals too. But four <laughs> eggs for that, and then I'm gonna cook it with two tablespoons of butter. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna cook all this up, prepare it, and I'll see you when it's all nice and presentable. Let's do it! Funny, I cut off the skins from the kiwis, but then I just eat the skins too. I like it where it's to eat it skinless, but I also like the skins, so I just cut them off, but then I eat them. So I usually have like four meals a day. It's 12 o'clock right now. So this is kind of like early lunch slash late breakfast. I could pretty much have like two breakfasts like that, one later lunch around like three or four, and then I have a later dinner around like seven or eight. So four meals a day. Typically, like I said, I'm trying to aim for around 3,500 calories. That's just what I found to work for me. Same with this whole diet plan. This is just what I found to work for me. This is what I like. For you and your body and your activity level, you might need a completely different caloric total. You might like different foods. You might react differently to milk. You might not like eggs. So whatever, you know, find what you like. Find your caloric totals of what works for you. Find your protein stuff. But this is just what really works for me. And this is a very, very typical day of eating for me. And you'll see I'm not just doing this just for this video. If you follow along with my journey, you follow along with my vlogs, you'll see this is pretty much what I have every single day. And I'll show you later on, like I have snacks, I eat chips, I have, I love chocolate ice cream, so I'll show you that later tonight. But this is a very typical day of eating for me. I wanna show you a real day of eating, not just something just to put up on YouTube, just because it looks cool or it looks healthy. This is what I really do, almost every day. <laughs> So it's four o'clock right now, I'm having my third meal a day. It's just two tuna fish sandwiches on the same exact bread that I had for in the very first meal. I cut up apple and then some potato chips. And again, like I'm not saying potato chips are healthy. I'm just, this is what I eat. This is a very typical day. I like to have some chips. I'm not perfect, I'm not a robot. So I'm gonna eat this and that's gonna be my meal number three. So for meal number four, I'm doing like a big chicken, rice, and veggie bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up five white mushrooms, a bell pepper, half a bell pepper, half an onion, and then I'm going to cook up three servings of basmati rice. So this is like one and a half of these things. I'm also going to cook one and a half chicken breasts, and I'm going to use like another two tablespoons of butter to cook everything in. You know, it's a big process. It's gonna be a lot of work. I gotta focus because I'm not the best chef. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to see you when it's like all kind of cooking and then when it's all done. So dinner is usually my biggest meal of the day. Like always, usually I have a bigger breakfast, smaller lunch, and then bigger dinner. So I'm gonna eat all this right now like I said, it's about 8.30 at night, 8.15 at night, eat all this, and then still work. I've just been working all day, editing videos, doing all that stuff, and then I'll show you my very last extra meal after this. The very last meal for today is like the secret weapon. You wanna play well on the field? Triple chocolate ice cream. Honestly, if you guys don't understand that sarcasm, chocolate ice cream is not good for you. It's just, it's not. But I like it, and that's something I want to treat myself with, and I usually have that about three times a week, I would say. The total macros, calories, everything will be on the screen right now. As you can see, I'm right around 3,500 calories, which is exactly what I wanted. It actually just worked out pretty perfectly today. So this is a very, very typical day of eating in my life. Again, please listen to this. 
This is my caloric goals for my body and my activity level. I have a very fast metabolism. I burn a lot of calories throughout my day, so I like to eat a lot of food. People in my last couple of day meetings are like, you're gonna get so fat. It's like, well, this is what I eat every day, and I'm, I'm not. So your body's different, my body's different. We're different ages, different points in our career. We work out different amounts. So calculate, experiment, and find what's right for you, your body, and just listen to that. But this was a full day of eating in the life of Maddie, the Iceman Sheldon. <laughs> I at night.